Okay, in uh, this presentation, we're going to have a look at the syntax window. Hurrah! Uh, lots of people get scared by the syntax window, and with good reason, probably. But anyway, we'll try to make you less scared of it, maybe. So to open a syntax window, uh, if you want to do it from scratch, go to the File menu, and then New, and then Syntax. And with a bit of luck, a syntax window will appear. There it is. OK, now, syntax window, as you can see, is kind of a big blank space, which uh, is not really what you want to see in front of you. And what we can do in the syntax window is to tell SPSS to do stuff for us. Now, uh, unfortunately, uh, you have to use the language of SPSS to tell it what to do. So it's no good writing, uh, dear SPSS, please do a t-test for me, otherwise I will pour tea into the computer. If you write that, and you go to, and try to run it as a command, what happens is this. Oh no, it doesn't recognize the command. That's because SPSS is stupid and uh, it doesn't really understand English. Well, it kind of does understand English, but it only understands its own little statsy, nerdy version of English. So we can't write nice, easy stuff like that. And instead we have to write horrible stuff. So let's say we wanted to do a t-test on our data. Now, you might not know what a t-test is yet, but don't worry about it. So we've still got our data uh, from one of the earlier films where we looked at lecturers and students and how many friends they have. So we might want to compare whether lecturers have more friends than students. And we could do that with a t-test. And we do that by typing t-test. Now you see, as it, well in version 17, if you don't have version 17 of SPSS, this won't happen. Uh, but as you start typing stuff, it gives you a list of commands. So you could click on t-test and we want to tell it what our grouping variable is and in this case our grouping variable is going to be job and we also need to tell it which numbers we use to represent lecturers and students now if you watch the previous film or if you read the book we used one to be uh, lecturers and two to be students so all this does is it tells SPSS that we want to analyze, um, or we want to do a t-test basically, and the groups that we want to compare are the groups in the variable called job, and the two categories that we want to compare, categories one and two, lecturers and students. Now we can add in uh, some other stuff here. So first, well, for example, we need to uh, we need to tell SPSS uh, what what variable we want to compare them on. So in other words, the number of friends. Now again, as we move on to the next line, when you have one of these uh, slashes here, that tells you that it's a subcommand of t-test. So t-test is our main command and we want a subcommand here. And now SPSS tells us all the subcommands available to us. So uh, for example, we could choose variables and this is our outcome variable. So we need to specify this and our outcome variable if we look back at the data editor was called friends so we can just type friends um, we can also set some other uh, things so for example um, maybe we could set the criteria and here we could set up a confidence interval a 95% confidence interval now when you finish writing all your commands you must put a full stop, like so. Now that basically tells SPSS to do a t-test. So to run this t-test, we could click on this button, which is, uh, it's, it plays the, the bit of syntax that you've selected. So we could select something, then press play. We also go to the run menu and click on run all, and that will run all the syntax that we've written. Or again, if we've selected a bit, uh, we could only run the bit that we've run. So let's run this 
then what should happen is in our output window, which uh, again you'll have to look at the uh, the separate video or read the book about the output window, uh, we get a nice little t-test, uh, which well you know we're going to go into the output window in, in a in a different um, film, so I'm not going to talk much about it there, but just to show you that's done the t-test. So the syntax window is a way of writing commands um, that al allow us to to analyze our data. Now you might think, well, you know, why the hell do I want to do that? I can just do it through the windows. Well, there's a few reasons. And uh, the first reason is if you're doing lots and lots of different analyses, it's quite handy to, uh, to kind of save what you're doing as syntax in case you need to run it all again at some point. Uh, there's also things that you can do with syntax that you can't do through the window. So it's a quite a useful thing to know about. Now I'm just going to pause for a minute and I'm going to illustrate uh, what I mean. Okay, um, now what I've done uh, while I was pausing is I've loaded up a new data file, which is a, a real data file that I was working on at some point, and a, a syntax file as well that I was using on this file. Now what I want to show you here, it doesn't really matter what all these commands mean, is that I was, I was doing uh, a bunch of analyses on a data file and Potentially, I'm going to have to redo these analyses at some point in the future. So I saved everything I did as different commands. So you can see there's there's a lot of work here. This is a, you know pretty much a day's work, and it's all saved there. So now, rather than having to spend a day redoing these analyses, should I need to do them in the future, I can just click Run and All, and it will go through all of the commands in the syntax window and it will it will do it in a you know about 20 seconds so it will in the long run save me an enormous amount of time if you've got a big syntax file like this again if you're using version 17 or after if you drag that in here you actually get a navigator window of all your commands so if you want to find a specific bit of analysis that you've done this uh, this can help you do that now The other thing that's uh, worth mentioning about these uh, about syntax windows is that you can get syntax rather than typing it. You can get syntax through um, the analyze menu as well. So, for example, if we go back to our uh, our rather simpler t-test example, rather than generating this by typing it. Anything you do in SPSS, any analysis you do, so if we were to do an independent t-test like this, and again, read the chapter on t-tests, uh, and you know, it will be clear what I'm doing. We can set up a t-test like this, and just if we click on paste, the syntax will appear in a syntax window. So that's how um, you can actually generate syntax if you want to reuse certain things that maybe you do a lot. Uh, you don't necessarily have to type all the commands in. You can just um, you know paste it through the Windows menu. So you can do a lot of analysis through Windows, but paste the syntax at the same time. So you've got a, a sort of a copy of everything you did, uh, and then if you needed to, you could rerun all of your analyses again at the push of a button. So that's uh, pretty much all you need to know for the time being about the syntax window. And in the next film, we'll have a look at the output window.